As David Warner walked out to bat against the West Indies today, the cricket world was buzzing about his spat with Australian officials. He's at war with Australian cricket. The war is being fought over Warner's lifetime captaincy ban for his part in the infamous Cape Town ball tampering scandal. The Dave Warner leadership debacle. Warner wanted Cricket Australia to overturn the ban and was preparing to plead his case at a private hearing. But he and cricket officials were stunned when an independent panel drafted to rule on Warner's case insisted the hearing be public. Against the wishes of both parties, they said, yes, it's going to be a public hearing, and David Warner says, no, the process got lost. It went rogue. It was going to be a public trial and, and that not just himself but players and coaches would have to be cross-examined. Um, it's just outrageous. In a lengthy social media post last night, Warner announced he was pulling out of the hearing. I am not prepared for my family to be the washing machine for cricket's dirty laundry, he said. The anger in the Warner camp was apparent this afternoon when his manager made an extraordinary allegation about the actions of two unnamed cricket officials after Australia was thrashed by South Africa in a test match in Hobart in 2016. Two senior executives were in the changing room in Hobart and basically were berating the team for losing against South Africa. And Warner said that we've got to reverse swing the ball. And the only way we can reverse swing the ball is basically... Um, uh, by tampering with it. So they were t told to do it. Cricket Australia is yet to comment on the claim. It's a worrying time for Australian cricket. It's a, a disruptor. It's a distraction the players don't need. Amid all the drama, Warner was caught behind for 21. Oh, can you believe it? Trudging off to deal with a new flashpoint in a saga that won't go away. Danny Morgan, ABC News.